After a few hurdles on the Gold Coast and almost missing our plane, we had finally arrived in Queenstown, New Zealand, only to realise Brock had left his passport on the plane. We had wondered at this point, what else could possibly go wrong? After a great night out and an even better good night's rest, we would be on our way to Waiatoi Creek Lodge for the next five days. With barely any time to spare, we would be heading out for our first hunt and I assure you, it did not take long before we knew exactly what we would be in for. We made a brief plan with our guides John and Nathan and made our way up to a ridge to get eyes on a potential target animal. It didn't take long until we had found the exact animal Brock had been looking for. However, we were a little rushed in the hunt and didn't manage to set up close enough to film Brock taking the first red stag for the trip. doesn't know how to make coffee with a coffee plunger. I've just started the oven too. He's gassed it, it doesn't know how to use a stove as well. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, we were greeted with red stags roaring through the fog, and we were pretty positive there'd be a massive red stag waiting amongst it all just for Desh. After glassing up a bunch of stags, we had finally found one that Desh had shown interest in, and one we thought he'd get a solid approach on. However, this stag was a lot more intelligent than we had ever anticipated. After getting a hint of Dash's scent, or a glimpse of his movement through the window of his stone-like castle, it wouldn't take long before he was up and out of there. Scene after scene, stag after stag, we'd stalked and glassed our way into a stunning amphitheatre where we would get a first glimpse of what appeared to be a perfect scenario for Desh to take his first ever giant red stag.
With a perfectly placed arrow, this stag had no idea what had just hit him. But it wouldn't be long until he'd find out exactly what had. Now that Dersh had gotten the monkey off his back, with his perfect bow kill, that left Dustin and myself to get it done with just three days left to hunt. As the weather began to take a turn and come in sideways, I thought there couldn't be a better time to get out away from the fireplace and chase yet another massive red stag. Fortunately for this old stag, it was not yet his time to die. The next day and a half would see myself failing yet again on two more cracking red stags. However, as always, everything has its divine timing and it was all just meant to be. sequence of events would see all my past failures combine into exactly what was meant to be. Fortunately for us, we had those two stags move away and another come roaring over the ridge shortly after they moved off.
gone for the three of us and not a whole lot of footage left to edit. I leave you with a few clips from some of Dustin's hunts which were not entirely captured. Overall, we had an amazing time hunting at Weyatoi Creek. The guides were great, and it was such an incredible place to wake up each day. I personally cannot wait to get back to New Zealand and do it all again. Thanks to Dustin for making it all possible, and thank you to the Weyatoi Creek Lodge family for your hard work and patience.